Hey everybody, Donnie coming at you with Workshop Attic. Today we are gonna go over the rigid R4513 uh, workshop portable table saw. Really nice saw, I'm really liking this thing. We're gonna go over a few features, talk about a few things. Uh, first off, it's a 10 inch table saw, uh, 5 8 auber. At 90 degrees, it'll cut three and a half inches, and at 45 degrees, it will cut two and a half inches. Has a no load speed of 5,000 RPMs. One thing I really like is it's basically got like a micro adjustment for um, any degree that you would like to, to set the machine from zero up to 45. You just kind of dial it in and it's got this lock knob right here that, that locks it in. Once you're set there, this actually locks the, or unlocks the blade height adjustment. Uh, pretty decent and smooth movements and just lock it down and you're ready to go. It's also got the um, safety removal feature for the on off switch so once it's removed nothing right there can be touched. A few things that I would like to talk about real quick that it has. Uh, really smooth floating fence. Um, really nice, really nice uh, accurate uh, easy assembly on this thing real quick because I, I need to cover that. Took it out of the box within 10 or 15 minutes this thing was ready to go. Um, all the bolts were included and Allen wrench was included to tighten everything up which made assembly uh, real easy to do. Now back to the fence system, the miter gauge and things like that. Very smooth accuracy, locks down really nice and tight. Um, right off the bat, putting it in, bringing it over to zero and using uh, gauges or a uh, metal rule that I have, it was dead on, dead on perfect. The miter gauge, the slot is real, real smooth. It has uh, positive stops in it. It has adjustments for you to make to bring everything into line. The miter gauge was out slightly, no big deal. No harm there. I'm actually going to probably build me a uh, sled for it. The slot is an open slot that will allow you to use a thin kerf or a thick kerf blade. It has uh, adjustments built in the bed and then it has magnets built in that locks it in also. One really super cool feature that I really liked about this saw was that it has this extension bed, this sliding table, if you will, that allows you more cut area. So once this thing's locked in, you have quite a few inches of, of cut area. You have 20 something inches, 24 inches to the right hand side of the blade to cut which is really really nice I really like that and the actual measuring of it uh, moves back and forth with the saw really smooth operation um, I really like the saw one thing that I did right off the bat was I cut a few pieces with the blade that comes with it and anybody who knows buying any kind of saw the blade that you get on those things probably isn't the best in the world. So I jumped up to a Diablo blade and this thing cuts like butter. Any vibrations that I had just a little bit to begin with the factory saw are gone. It cuts smooth, cuts simple. It's really, really a great saw. So with that said, um, it's got onboard um, storage for the miter slot. It's got onboard storage for the, for the fence. Everything just slides in its own respective spot and locks down so where this thing can be brought to a job site fairly quickly. It has onboard storage for a push stick, a really nice uh, push stick. And once again, with the help of a lever on the side, It locks in and pushes and is ready to go. So really nice saw for the money, really, really portable. I needed something like this in my shop that I could roll up to my bench. Um, I made my bench the exact same height as this thing is here. So I could roll it up to my bench, have an automatic outfeed table. 
and I could also take this out if I'm working on something on the back side of the house or if I'm working something out in the field with a generator. Um, I really think that it's a 110 unit. It runs on 120 volts and make sure that if you're going to use a cord or anything like that, make sure you use the correct size um, extension cord. Really nice saw, really great dust collection. It has a two and a half inch port here on the side. I used it with my regular uh, rigid vacuum and the dust deputy. Barely any dust I saw. I cut some pine, which is you know really bad for dust and things like that. It worked really, really well. Suggestions: um, Make sure that when you buy this saw, you take the serial number and the model number, and you go to rigid, and you make sure that you uh, register this thing so where you are covered under the full warranty. If you do not register it, you're not going to be happy if anything ever happens with it. So, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. Really clean cut and saw, and if you're looking for something really easy and light to get around, I think this saw is a really good choice. So, come over to the forum at workshopaddict.com, check out the blog, hang out with us, questions, leave them below. If you have any, uh, anything you want to find out about, we have plenty of tools reviews on the blog uh, that the guys have done. And uh, until next time, thanks for visiting.